And there have been a lot of deadly tornadoes hitting across the U.S. in the past few months. So why are there so many this year? New information tonight. The pressure is mounting for Congressman Anthony Weiner's resignation. Daily's Karen Carlson is here to show us how the movie industry is actually helping in that effort. Well, you know, Mike, believe it or not, even after the Katrina disaster, New Orleans is still one of the top places in the country for making movies. They are still setting up glasses. They're still putting out the chairs and tables. The question now is, will they be done in time? You want to talk about wild and crazy? Try being on Bourbon Street any day of the week. In fact, it is those wild and crazy revelers that help start a Mardi Gras tradition that's been going on here for years. A big drop in temperatures earlier this week. Actually, even Thursday, we were seeing Palm Springs close to 90 degrees. So we're looking at a 10 to 15 degree drop in temperatures throughout the Inland Empire along the coast as well. More on Robert's injured shoulder. So we, he says. Yeah. Yes, right. yeah, oh, I, I think I saw him throwing a baseball earlier yeah. today. I can't be sure. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a southpaw, but, uh, right? Oh, oh, oh. So it's right. not his excuse for everything. Have a good one. Hey, okay, and it's so odd to think we've been dealing with so much rain up here, but then yeah. there was always that concern over the weekend well, that it was so dry in the southern part of Utah. The biggest 116. The search efforts today were slowed down by more severe weather. Fires from gas leaks continue in that area. ABC's TJ Winnick joins us live now from Joplin. Good evening. And there have been a lot of deadly tornadoes hitting across the U.S. in the past few months. So why are there so many this year? ABC4 Chief Meteorologist Roland Sedum joins us now with more on that. Roland? Karen was a man charged with voyeurism in Summit County made his first court appearance today. The Summit County Sheriff's Office says Jimmy No put a camera in the women's restroom of a business complex. Today he heard the charges read against him. He will be back in court in June. A man described by police as one of the biggest meth dealers in southern Utah is now behind bars. Oscar Hernandez Morales was arrested in Washington County late last week. Police say he went to Nevada to get more meth and was stopped by police as he crossed back into Utah. The final showdown with Dancing with the Stars is tonight and coming up at four, how the stars are preparing for their final dances. And we'll also recap this season's big milestones. And some more bad news for Sony as another hacker hits over the weekend. We'll tell you who it affects this time and what's at risk as we get you connected at four. And let's go outside right now for your first traffic update on this Monday afternoon. This is 110th South in Salt Lake County. Things are moving along smoothly so far. We'll be right back. On Dancing with the Stars. So who's in top shape for the competition and who's starting to feel the stress? Cameron Matheson went behind the scenes of the final rehearsals and joins us now from Los Angeles. Wow, wow. you can see finals with Dancing with the Stars tonight starting at 7 o'clock right here on ABC4. Then stick around for ABC4 News at 10 where we were given exclusive behind the scenes access. We'll show you what happens before the show goes on and who helps the audience get started with the booze and the cheers. That's tonight at 10 o'clock right here on ABC4. Now, your forewarned forecast. Yeah, I think I'd pull something if I was dancing. Yeah, they're moving. Right? I'm like, did they put I that could, in fast motion? I couldn't move like that. Are you no, kidding? Absolutely not. <laughs> You'd hear these bones start to rattle and things would start falling apart <laughs> like an old junker. There you oh, go. That's oh. funny. <laughs> Well, more than 100 killed and an entire town torn apart. The latest from Joplin, Missouri, as we recap our top stories up next. The death toll in Joplin, Missouri, has now reached 116. And more severe weather is hampering the search for survivors. The tornado that came through last night ripped apart much of the town. The hospital and a school were in the direct path. Also torn apart, the LDS Stake Center. The church says it is destroyed, but all missionaries have been accounted for. And here's a look at what we're working on for ABC4 News at 5. A one Utah woman. Plus, three Utah roads are still closed after weekend mudslides. New at 5 will update you on when they will reopen and how they could impact some of your Memorial Day weekend plans. All right, thanks for checking us out here at 4. Access Hollywood is next.